Hey folks, Nitno here. The goal of this video is to give you a good understanding of the protection provided by armored vests and helmets. Make sure to use the timeline features down below to easily skip around the video by item. If you do find this video helpful, please make sure to subscribe. Quickly before we start the video, I want to explain what this video is and what this video isn't. This video was created by lining up hundreds of player models equipping them with the appropriate armor, then counting how many shots it took with every ammo type until the player model's armor was ruined and the player model died. This video is not taking into account every factor that makes up the complicated algorithm of damage in DAISY, so please keep this in mind before critiquing the results. Take the results as a general understanding and not exact science. To add another curveball into the mix, some modded servers even tweak their own damage to custom settings. Armor in Daisy comes with damage reduction to multiple types of damage. For example, protection from melee damage, infected damage, grenade damage, and bullet damage. In this video, we are only focusing on bullet damage. We will be covering three main stats when it comes to armor protection. Damage reduction is just like it sounds. This will reduce the amount of damage a bullet does to you. Shock reduction reduces the chance your character will go unconscious from damage. Your character starts with 100 shock health, and if it drops to 25 shock health points or under, you will pass out. The shock reduction statistic reduces the amount of shock each bullet will do. Lastly, we have durability points. When your armor goes to zero durability, it will stop protecting you. Therefore, the lower durability your item has, the quicker it will get ruined, and lose its effectiveness. Starting off, both the Stab Vest and Tactical Vest reduce damage by 50%, Shock by 50%, and have 30 durability points. To kill a player wearing these items, it will take 8 shots of 22, 6 shots of 380, 5 shots of 9x19, 4 shots of 45, 1 shot of 357, 2 shots of 9 by 39, 2 shots of 9 by 39 AP, 3 shots of 9.62 by 39, 3 shots of 5.56 by 45, 3 shots of 5.45 by 39, one shot of 308, one shot of 7.62 by 54. At point blank range with every pellet hitting you, only one shot of 12 gauge buckshot. And also at point blank range, one shot of a 12 gauge slug. Next up, we have the ballistic press vest coming in with a damage reduction of 50%, shock 50%, and a higher durability of 50 points. The higher durability means it will protect you from more shots. To kill a player wearing a ballistic press vest, it will take 9 shots of 22, 7 shots of 380, 6 shots of 9x19, 4 shots of 0.45, 1 shot of 357, 2 shots of 9x39, 2 shots of 9x39 AP, 3 shots of 7.62 by 39, 3 shots of 5.56 by 45, 3 shots of 5.45 by 39, only 1 shot of 308, 1 shot of 7.62 by 54. At point blank range with every pellet hitting you, only 1 shot of 12 gauge buckshot, and also at point blank range one shot of a 12 gauge slug. Currently the best armor in the game, the plate carrier reduces damage by 50%, but sets itself apart with its 75% shock reduction, doing a better job at keeping you awake and in the action. The 100 durability points also makes the armor stay effective for much longer. To kill a player wearing the plate carrier, it will take 12 shots of 22, 10 shots of 380, 8 shots of 9x19, 6 shots of 45, 
two shots of 357, three shots of 9x39, three shots of 9x39 AP, four shots of 7.62x39, four shots of 5.56x45, four shots of 5.45x39, two shots of 308, two shots of 7.62x54, and at point blank range with every single pellet hitting, only one shot of 12 gauge buckshot. And at point blank range, only one shot of a 12 gauge slug. Moving on to head protection, the next five helmets will all offer the same protection. The Hockey, Enduro, Moto, Skate, and Hard Hat all offer 50% damage reduction, 50% shock reduction, but the important part to remember is the very low 15 durability points. These helmets will only be helpful for avoiding damage and shock from melee attacks and very low caliber ammo. The Moto Helmet does have an additional benefit of 75% biological protection, meaning if someone is sick and sneezing around you, it will offer some protection from their illness. Killing a player wearing these helmets will take 2 shots of 22, 2 shots of 380, 2 shots of 9x19, 2 shots of 45, and then every other ammo type will be a 1 shot to the head and you're down. The Firefighter, Flight, Crate Helm, and Combat Helm all offer 50% damage reduction, 50% shock reduction, and a higher durability rating of 27 points. Remember, the more durability, the longer it will stay effective. The Great Helm, similar to the Motorcycle Helm, will offer a 75% chance to resist airborne sickness. Killing a player wearing these helmets will take 3 shots of 22, 3 shots of 380, 3 shots of 9x19, 2 shots of 45, and every other ammo type will be a one shot kill. And lastly, we have the Ballistic, Assault, and Tactical Helmet. They all offer 50% damage reduction, a huge 75% shock reduction, keeping you awake and in the fight, and a solid 50 durability points. Currently, the Assault Visor does not add any extra damage protection. The Tactical Helmet can attach night vision and a flashlight. To kill a player wearing one of these helmets, it will take 4 shots of 22, 3 shots of 380, 3 shots of 9x19, 2 shots of 45, 1 shot of 357, 1 shot of 9x39, 1 shot of 9x39 AP, 2 shots of 7.62x39, 2 shots of 5.56x45, 2 shots of 5.45x39, 1 shot of 308, 1 shot of 7.62x54, and again at point blank, 1 shot of buckshot, and at point blank, 1 shot of a 12 gauge slug. Alright, I've gone ahead and organized the items by medium protection, high protection, and best protection. This way you can better visualize the performance expected from each piece of armor. I'll post a screenshot of this graph in the description. If you found this video helpful in any way, please consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like. As always, have fun and daisy, take it easy, peace. A special thanks to our YouTube members. Click the join button down below to become a member. Be a part of our community by clicking the Discord or Twitter link in the description.